Hey guys, uh, welcome to another 88 MPH deposit tutorial. Okay, this one is going to be on the A DAI asset, the DAI asset here on the AAVE protocol. Again, we go to earn fixed rate APY and we find our asset, the DAI AAVE protocol A DAI. Current APY for this asset is 5.1% APY, fixed rate. Okay, some people are wondering where the 5.1% APY comes from. Let me just quickly explain it. 88 MPH takes the 30 day EMA, exponential moving average of the underlying protocols asset. So for example, this is DAI on the AVE protocol. Let's go to AVE, we find DAI. Okay, here, the deposit APY is 7.10% currently. It takes the 30 day EMA, and then takes 75% of this 30-day EMA. That is to ensure that any fluctuations will not affect the fixed rate APY that you get. It's a very simple, quite elegant solution, I think. Next, we have the MPH APY and the MPH APY temporary. This is on top of your returns on your DAI. This rate here is a fixed rate APY for your DAI coin. You will receive 5% over a year on DAI. The MPH APY refers to the MPH rewards that are vested to you for your transaction, for your deposit. Let's go here to add for more details. Okay, okay. here, what would you like to deposit? DAI AVE. Deposit amount, 100, okay? Here, you can choose your lending duration up to 30, 365 days, the lowest is seven days. What this does, Let's play around here. What this does is it changes your initial MPH rewards that are vested to you, okay? You can see here that 365 days, 60 days or seven days, the minimum, does nothing to change the fixed rate, interest rate, APY that you will get, okay? Here, 5.8%, 5.08%. It will also do nothing to change your MPH APY or your temporary APY. These are set for 365 days or for seven days or anywhere in between, they are the same. What it does do, however, is it issues you more MPH rewards at the beginning. Over the first seven days of any of your deposits, you will receive all of your MPH rewards. These ones here on the front page. 47% APY worth of MPH. Now, when you decide to withdraw your deposit, you must repay 30% of that MPH that was rewarded to you. Hence, this is the temporary. You can see here, 32% APY for the permanent rewards that you get to keep and go home with. The 47% is the temporary. 30% of that must be paid back upon withdrawal. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna do for 14 days. Here you can see the MPH rewards that I will receive over seven days is this many. If I change that to 365, it's a lot more, you can see. And I get them after seven days, regardless of how long my deposit is for. Here, the MPH to repay upon withdrawal, this is the 30%. Depositors need to repay 30%. This is the 30% that must be repaid if you are to withdraw your deposit. Okay, so don't spend them all right away and be shocked by that. Okay, let's go to continue. The first transaction is to allow the protocol to spend my die. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Now, whilst we're waiting, I'd just like to address a problem about the risk of the fixed rate APY protocol. There's lots of information about it here in the documentation if you go to how ATA MPH works. So I'm going to Eli 5 it real quick. Okay, The DAI deposits into the AAV protocol, this is an example, all are the same. Here, all $591,000 worth of DAI, all these deposits are collected into a single pool not kept separately. This is for two reasons. The first one is overlapping deposits. If I deposit into the pool and my 
variable rate drops below that 75% threshold that 88 MPH sets, then you might think I will risk insolvency. My debts cannot be paid. Well, if someone else deposits into the protocol, maybe an hour later or an hour before, there's more money in the pool to help if my underlying protocol drops down. Okay, that's step one. Step two is the risk balancing. For example, if the AAV protocol for DAI, the variable rate interest goes up above the original peg, then there's more profit being made than originally planned for. This extra profit can be saved in order to help for site-wide insolvency, to help for insolvency issues for maybe another protocol's lending drops down below the initial peg. These are all benefits of the pooling. Okay, there's more information here on how 88 MPH works here. How does pooling help? The last method is the floating rate bonds purchase here. Okay, I did a video on this recently, buy floating rate bonds. What this means is that you can immediately purchase the bond that someone else has created on the front page. Once you've purchased it, there is no longer any debt to the system, they have been paid. So you are a happy bunny. So that's three of the ways in which 88 MPH helps to manage the risk of providing a fixed APY protocol. Pretty great. Okay, and our transaction is ready. See how much gas. Oof. Okay, let's confirm that and deposit into the protocol. Now our transaction has been sent to the network. Let's see how long this takes. So whilst we're waiting, I'll quickly summarize, okay? Here we have DAI, the asset on the AAVE AVE protocol, the ADAI asset. The fixed APY here, 5.1%, is garnered from AAVE's 30-day EMA, exponential moving average, of the last 30 days of their variable rate protocol. Okay, 75% of this average is then given as the fixed rate APY. MPH APY is your permanent MPH rewards APY percentage in return for using this protocol. The MPH APY temporary is the amount that you get before you have to return your 30% upon withdrawal. I hope that makes sense. And remember, you can deposit for as long or as little as you want. It does not affect the APY, it just affects how many initial MPH rewards you get. Okay, let's check the MPH vesting tab on the left here. This is where we will receive our vested rewards. Here will be your MPH vested rewards. It will say for how long your deposits are left locked, seven days. How long left from those seven days? The full amount that you will receive after seven days, the current withdrawable amount, they're vested, remember, and the withdrawal amount already, how much you've already taken out. Okay, again, any questions, come find us at the server. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, JB87Crypto. Thank you.